How are you doing YouTube and welcome back to Vanilla Minecraft Let's Play. How are you doing? How have you guys been? Um, don't forget, get the comments in the comments section um, because between um, the milestone, what I call quote unquote milestone episode, so every 10 episodes, so the next milestone would be episode 20, um, I will be reading comments between episode 10 and 19. Uh, for example, and I will be gathering the comments together and any um, um, Also um, any um, Donations I will um, I will literally get I'll, I'll do a quick mock-up of um, armor or anything like that um, Any people putting their you know in-game names will get a armor stand uh, donators will get a diamond armor stand and I probably am going to actually use my own stash. Let me go into F5 and F1 and as you can see straight away there's a scoreboard. I will get to that in just a tick. So what I'm going to do with, um, I'm going to put a, a link to to be able to donate to my PayPal account. So should you donate I'm going to make you uh, an armor stand with your uh, if you also if you donate you need to make sure um, that you let me know in the comment section that you have done so or leave me a message on PayPal somehow there's got to be a way to leave a little message uh, with your Minecraft name that way I can get your player head and once I get your player head I'll put it on an armor stand using all of my stash I'm not going to spawn anything in it's going to be all legit don't worry so if you donate you're going to get um, some form of um, armor whereas the standard guys get like I'm gonna come up with a system with um, but I'll go into it in more depth at some point um, I'm gonna come up with say leather it uh, shows you um, just people giving you their in-game name or iron is I don't know a subscriber or someone that's something like that you know what I mean so there's gonna be like tiers like tiers of armor that there's gonna be on the armor stand along with your play ahead that's why I need your IGN you know your Minecraft name is solely for the player head um, so you need to make sure that um, you get that to me as soon as possible sort of thing so um, yeah so donations are not like gonna be like the be all and end all I don't focus on that so but that's just a kind of like you know if you want to kind of thing so don't feel like you have to you don't you don't have to or whatsoever but it, you know it, it's it's a nice little token and I do appreciate that if you if you so choose to do that but anyway so yeah armor stands and like a subscribing museum it's gonna be in the works at some point maybe soon but I should take a little bit of a sleep uh, take a little bit of sleep so yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get you guys involved and have some kind of monument for you guys. Um, and I'm going to have different tiers of armor stands with different armors on it. And different armor um, will kind of show whether you're a donator or you just liked it or you just, you know, gave me your in-game name or that sort of stuff. So it's going to be different, different versions of armor to um, show. So as you notice on the right hand side, um, I've got the scoreboard now the scoreboard is a feature in minecraft which you can have you can have it so i don't know you can have how many times you've died how many mobs you've killed um but in this case i, I i've i think because it i want to keep it obviously vanilla no plugins are going to go onto this map whatsoever so whatever i do is literally vanilla or you know um but i must confess one of them is um, the scoreboard um, is going to be linked into command blocks, which unfortunately I have to go into game mode one. I can't craft them for whatever reason, but I think that's a security feature because I'm the you know I'm like the server operator. Um, I I have access to obviously the commands, and as you can see in front of me, I have a shop or a market store. I've built a market store. What do you think? And that is all legit. The only thing that is not legit is the command blocks and how it actually functions. I can't craft, like I say, I can't um, physically craft uh, command blocks. Everything else is my own resources. So yeah, everything else is legit. So I'm going to keep it legit where possible. I'm not going to spawn. Um, I, 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 I promise you on my... Um, 
on my YouTube channel, I'm not spawning any items in. It's all legit. The Well, okay, quote unquote, only like command blocks, because obviously I, I have to spawn that in. So as you can see, we've got like cakes, we've got pumpkins, you name it, we've got it. And we can literally buy it. So you've got to be quite close. So you've got to kind of, if I say I want some, um, let's, let's go and buy some beef, because I've already got beef on me. How much money have I got? I'll buy two. You got to stand quite close. So um, I don't know if this will do it. Yes, it does. So you stand just outside the path. I don't think that will do it. No. So you can stand about three blocks away from the actual food stand maximum. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So let's just do one more. So one beef equals twenty pounds. Notice that I should have 208 by the time I press this button. There we go. Did it give me the... Oh, actually, no, I have just I just found something out. Yeah, okay, I've, I see something wrong there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably tweak all of them off camera. But what's happened is, is um, it's taken the money, but it hasn't... So it takes the money but it doesn't give you the item as such that's odd so I'm not going to dig that up no way actually no I can I can get away with it so as you can see these are command blocks here and this is what controls it oh, I need to be in creative I'm going to have to go into creative just for you guys just to show you how they work uh, game mode one. I hate going in creative. I feel so cheaty, but I'm not actually doing anything wrong. So as you can see, um, it's got the range there, but it hasn't got the range there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this out and stick that to four. So that's the range. Let's put a bit of gravel. Oh, we need to go. That was actually technically spawning it in. So let's just get rid of that a sec. Let's go back into game mode one. Uh, zero. Okay. I'm probably going to get thumbs down. Please don't thumbs down. Thumbs up for shops, man. Thumbs up for shops. This is for a, you know, a better cause. This is for something really cool. I think it's personally cool. But unfortunately, I have to take the, you know, the game mode one steps to be able to do it. Where did that gravel go? I've got some here anyway. Okay. There we go. So as you can see, here's all the materials I've been using and stuff like that. So I have been, you know, busy. So let's try it here now. There we go. So we need to keep them the same, really. So I've got three. I'm just going to cook them up while I'm talking to you guys. Oh, I was cooking up some charcoal and I forgot about it. There we go. 64 charcoal. Done. So yeah, it is pretty cool. Um, there's loads of command box under each button. I had to actually build this twice um, because um, I made them too close. You have to make a one spot gap. Otherwise, the redstone will join up and it won't work. So you have to have make a gap between them, but I kind of like the design. I think it's pretty cool, and I'm um, I'm probably most likely gonna extend and make some more market stalls, kind of branch off um, over back into the this over there is where the community farms are. Remember that villager farm? It's not that great. Um, from the time that I've spent on the server since last episode and I've built it, it's not actually that great. It kind of it. Yeah, it has to either be in a spawn chunk or or someone has to be on it. It's kind of, yeah, you may as well just make your own one. So, yeah, it's, it was cool to build, but I don't think that's really that great of a design, to be honest. Unless it's in your spawn chunk. Like I said, it's that's then it's going to be totally worth it. Um, going into command blocks, um, we've... Um, yeah, we tr we've tried um, making like, um, oh, what's it, what's what's it called? We've tried making it so that you can sell items. Like, say for example, I want to sell this bit of dirt, right? We we tried making it so, it, but the trouble is, it's a bit glitchy and and the code just doesn't work as good. So what we do is we um, have shop. We, what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to have shops that only can you can buy from. You can't actually um, sell to them. 
And and you might be thinking, so Dibs, how do you how do you get money? So this is how you get money. I shall show you. I'm just gonna go back to my base. And I've also encountered another problem by doing it this way. Um, yeah, put, people can make um, uh, what we call it uh, farms to be able to still do this. No matter what you do in Minecraft, you can farm anything. Um, so it doesn't really matter. But um, I haven't built one yet. But you'll see in a second. I don't want to give too much away. Let's get one of these, and you know what's coming. So what's happening is as soon as I turn this into nuggets, and it goes into my inventory, it will start disappearing. So watch this. Ready? But the only trouble is, it sacrifices the very first one. Um, the first one doesn't get accounted for, whereas the rest of the, the other eight will. So watch this. As you can see, it's going down, and I've made a little bit of money back. So gold nuggets um, pretty much are the currency of the server as such right now. It's not unbalanced, it, at, at the moment it's not unbalanced, but the only trouble is gold is quite hard to find when you're actually looking for it. But what I tend to do is if I find gold, if I'm going about finding gold, let's see if I'm going to find some. If I'm going about trying to find some gold, um, what I tend to do is say I get a, a vein of eight. Let's say I get eight total, right? So what I do is I tend to keep four and then sell four and turn like the rest of, you know, half and half into money. I think this is the last branch down there. This is my uh, grid. I'm pretty much getting through this grid and I'm almost to a point where I'm going to make another layer. Hopefully there's no um, lava down there. I've got some iron. I want some gold. That's what I want. But I'm going to go higher up maybe now. I might get some more. But um, we'll see. So I'm going 50-50 really, so 50-50, I will, um, I know I'm missing that iron. I will, you know, if I find 8, for example, I will go halves. Half of it would be money, half of it would be for crafting. Because you don't want to use all of your gold for um, money. Well, you can do, but um, I don't, I don't, me personally, I'm not going to do that. So... Yeah, I think, yeah, sure, I have to go into creative mode, but thumbs up for, um, you know, making it a bit more interesting. I mean, you know, Minecraft, I'm trying to keep the Minecraft alive as much as I can with the features that vanilla can offer, and Command Box is one of them. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. So, I think having shops and or market stalls will be... A good thing because at the end of the day I mean look at I've I've branched all down here and I've, I've hardly found any gold if you want me to be honest on this level all I've got to do now is do that that alleyway down there now but I won't do it obviously on camera let's see how my slime farms doing quick um, but yeah gold gold is not the easiest to find but it's not the hardest to find either um, people could <coughs> excuse me People could actually start making gold farms, um, but yeah, still you have to grind for that. Yeah, the, um, we've got quite loads of slime balls coming in here. Good job. Um, people have to literally grind for it, so it's a case of you know. I, I feel that if you're going to make a, a a gold farm in the Nether, for example, with pigmen, I think that. Yeah, you still got to put the time into making the farm, and then you've got the you got to sit and wait to get you know the money. And each nugget is only only one pound, so you know there is still you're earning it in some respect because you've got to go. Well, you can't go AFK because if you go AFK, you get kicked. So you've got to be there, and you've got to kind of. Um, kind of stay at the farm wherever you know the gold nugget farm should we, should we ever build one i don't rule it out but it is a way of getting money um but it you won't be getting much because one nugget for one pound is that is a lot of time spent at a farm so you'll be there grinding you know you get getting the pigmen grinding away like you know 
like it's going out of fashion, you'll be there for several hours only to get, you know, I don't know, a hundred, a hundred pounds, you know? So it, I, I find that even if you were to make a farm, nuggets are quite um, well balanced in my opinion. But yeah, what do you reckon guys? Command blocks are pretty cool, aren't they? I mean, it's going to add that little bit of extra spice to the to the game, especially on the server. Um, as you can see, I'm not the richest. The richest is that top player there. Um, he's got £739, so he's had a lot of gold in, in his time. And, um, oh yeah, I was going to show you something. The only drawback with this is if I've got the right food. Oh, that'll do. Carrot. Right. So if you're, say, for example, um, I'll show you how this is running in a second. But the trouble is with this, um, if you were to try and make, um, let's say, um, a golden carrot, right? The trouble is, by the, as soon as you turn that into ingots, right? As soon as you take it out of this, this box, this this box here, the trouble is with that is it will start taking it from you, right? So even if you put it in this area here, it counts as inventory. So watch this, it's taking it as I speak. I can't even craft quick enough. So I've made it so that the sh where did my carrot go? Where did my carrot? Go? Oh, it's there. It's glitch. It glitches out, and I think the reason why it glitches out is because of this. Let me go and show you. Okay, so there's a little redstone clock hook hooked up to the spawn chunk. So that way, if it's in the spawn chunk, spawn chunks will keep the game. It will stay loaded at all times. Otherwise, if you put this anywhere in the world, what's going to happen is um, it will unload and you won't be able to get the currency. So every time that flashes is basically every second what's gonna happen is you're gonna be able to um, uh, get the money. So no matter what time, what t whenever you do, you get those nuggets, because this is constantly flashing, it's gonna deduct it and put it, you know, deduct the nuggets and put the, um, uh, put the money into your scoreboard. Um, the only trouble is with this, um, I find it does lag the server um, now and then. When you're crafting, you'll notice that it's a bit, it looks a bit glitchy. I, I don't know if you can see, ever see it, but I've, I've noticed while I'm crafting stuff, it, it's, it's a bit weird. It, it doesn't seem right. So yeah, so this one takes the nugget. And after this takes nugget, this one gives you the money. So we're pretty much at bedrock, so we're as low as possible. Um, and yeah, this is where all the, uh, any scoreboard magic is going to happen pretty much. I'm going to put all the commands here, unless it's obviously the shops. Um, any scoreboard magic will be here. So as you can see, um, we've got a shops and more shops will be coming. So basically, um, yeah, I, I think it's a good idea. I, I like the idea of having some form of currency in the world. Um, you could use, you could, you know, some of you may say, well, there is currency in Minecraft, you've got emeralds, but emeralds are really hard to find, and I mean really hard to find, and the villagers don't always give you fair prices, so, meh, um, but, you know, we could probably um, work on getting a villager sort of trading post at some point as well, we did have one on an old map, um, I might build a new one at some point in the future, there's so much I would like to build eventually, um, which will just make the server fun. It's all about having fun, and if having scoreboards is a way of having fun, so be it. It is literally good fun to have money, and it gives it gives people, uh, you know, an incentive to try and use the gold as well. Because gold's all right, but it doesn't have a tremendous amount of uses in in the Minecraft world. So. One of the decent uses is to be able to say, oh, I found gold. Because when in, in vanilla Minecraft, I don't know about you guys, but do you ever find that, um, you know, you're going around the world, you're doing your stuff, and you, you or say, for example, you're mining, and you go, oh, well, yeah, oh, look, oh, it's gold. When you ever find gold, you're not really excited about it. Whereas if I get the scoreboard um, working, which I have done, it makes it so when you find gold you're like wow i found gold i can get some more money so eventually we're going to have loads of market stalls maybe a shop or two you know what i mean that sort of stuff 
um, just decorating sort of mainly I'm going to cover this area and maybe branch towards the community area over that way and like I say it's all legit I promise you this this took me you know flipping hours to build I'm, I'm not even joking this took me it doesn't look much but this took me ages to try and get the style right fiddle about with it um, not only that that's why I haven't built much between this episode and last is because I've been trying to get my head around how to make all this happen and I've finally done it yeah sure you know when you're crafting I'll show you the crafting thing watch the crafting very closely because of the clock okay when you start doing this oh, it's not really working I don't know if you, it, there's kind of a ghost fit I don't know it kind of feels like there's a kind of ghost thing going on it's like a ghost crafting it, it almost feels weird it's like if I half and, and when I put things down, it doesn't feel quite right. There's something wrong there, but it's because there's too many pulses going on, you know? So, yeah. But anyways, um, it works, and it's not too bad with the old uh, the frame rates. And not the frame rates, the, the, the kind of like the, you know, the, the crafting lag. It kind of, See that? It kind of ghosted a bit there it goes there uh, look so it's not it's not drastic I mean I'd rather have a shop than and have a bit of ghosting effect with a craft and then yeah nothing I think the shops a really good idea and you might be asking dibs how that how the hell do you make those items float when and they've not dis despawned because this this video has been going on for like ever and then you know the items are still there but there is a command um, which you can use to to spawn these in. Um, so what happens is you press the button on the on a, um, a command block with the right string of text, and it will summon these so they will never despawn. And watch, I can't even pick it up, which is another beauty of it. Yeah. So basically, we can literally, you know, you say for example, you get someone that's never seen the shop before. Ooh, rabbit stew. You know what? No one's going to notice if I pinch that. Oh, I can't. So yeah, and these these kind of things, I've tried to price them the best I can in regards to um, um, the amount of kind of you know health, uh, food, uh, hunger they regenerate. That's that's the word I'm trying to get to. So uh, I've done my best with it, but we can always change it. It's not a problem. So what do you think, guys? Thumbs up for a shop. That's pretty cool. I just want to really really go to town with vanilla minecraft i know i had to spawn a, oh hang on i know i had to spawn the command blocks in and stuff like that but that's the only way around it if there if there was a way to craft it trust me i would craft it 100% i'm going to take this witch out oh wow oh yeah so guys thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed this episode please don't hate me for spawning the command blocks in uh, but I promise you everything else is legit um, So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up for scoreboard shops because they are cool. They are really cool um, So if you've got a vanilla server or you're playing vanilla Minecraft on your own if you're allowing allowing cheats You know get some command blocks in um, and uh, Have fun with them try and learn some seriously that they're, they're good fun. But anyway, guys, until next time, um, I shall see you then. And hopefully I might have built something else. And if I've built something else, I'll show you. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I shall see you soon. Take it easy.